How you doing, young lady? The feeling that you're giving really drives me crazy. You don't have a play about the choke. I was at the loss of word first time that we spoke. You're looking for a girl that cheats. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and I post videos on here every Sunday. So today I thought it would be super fun to do a little lunch meat taste test. I'm sure you guys could already tell from the title, but I got five different lunch meats. So this one is the ham one. I also got the pizza pepperoni lunch meat. I then got the nachos with cheddar cheese and salsa, mini burgers, these look a little bit more questionable, and I then got the hot dogs. So obviously this is a good amount of food, so I have worked up an appetite, and I am hungry. It is about 12.50 right now, so this is gonna be my lunch. And I have not really taste tested all of these, like, ever. I was a very simple child with a very simple appetite, so as an adult, I am still very simple with what I like, what I prefer. So I haven't really tried many things out. I have tried the ham one, but my favorite growing up and to this day is definitely the bologna one. This one with, like, the little crackers and cheese and then the little Kit Kat. The Kit Kat was my absolute favorite, but I thought that this would be fun just because I feel like it's just a sense of nostalgia for everyone and I also just haven't really tried them. I think maybe in some point of my life I did try the hot dogs one, but I can't really remember. Also, if you're wondering why my hair is like kind of curled but kind of not, I had grad photos yesterday so that is why this is day two hair and I just can't be bothered to recurl it or fix it up at all so that's just how it is. Hamburgers, I had no idea they even had hamburgers so this will be interesting nachos with cheese i think back in the day they probably had this but i can't really remember i'm optimistic that it will taste good and then the pizza with pepperoni i love pizza so i'm hoping i like this one i also really hope i don't make a mess fingers crossed and wish me luck i don't really know what to start off with so at the bottom here i have them all kind of laid out i'm just going to shuffle them that way i have no idea what is what and i'm just going to pick one we are starting off with the hot dogs today so let me move the rest aside Honestly, the hickory sticks, I know I'm gonna love those. Three mini hot dogs with three mini wraps, ketchup, mustard, and potato sticks. But I think they are the hickory sticks. Let's just open it right up. And I've already made a mess. Taste testing the hickory sticks first. I love a good hickory stick. I haven't had these in so long. And they're just delicious. I don't know what else to say, but here we have it. The hot dogs are literally pale. No color to them whatsoever. A little bit questionable. So I'm assuming this one's a ketchup. I personally am not really a fan of condiments on my hot dogs really. So this is the hot dog. It doesn't really have a smell and it doesn't necessarily look appetizing. Pita already broke. Let's just go ahead and take a bite out of this. I don't even know where to start. This is what it looks like on the inside. I don't really know what to say about it. Let me take another bite. It's very, very mediocre. I don't like the pita. The pita is very thick and it's also kind of stale in all honesty, but the hickory sticks are good at least. I don't mean to come across as harsh, especially not for the very, very first one. I really wanted to like this just because I love hot dogs in general. Very disappointed with this, but the hickory sticks I love. I'll definitely be eating that, but in terms of the hot dog and the pita and everything, very, very underwhelming. If I was a kid, I would eat this if I had this for lunch just because you need to get full, but I wouldn't really ask for this. I do think back in the day they changed it because I think there used to be an actual like hot dog bun and I'm pretty sure it's a bit more colorful but these hot dogs are pale as heck. I would give this a 5 out of 10. I really don't like it. I wouldn't recommend it. Could I eat it? Yes, but do I love it? No. And the 5 out of 10 is only because of the hickory sticks because I love these. Now hot dogs are done. I'm just gonna shuffle them up and we'll try our next one. Next up, this one is definitely my favorite. This is the ham lunch meat. I make little sandwiches with this it's kind of just like a little charcuterie board that this is. It truly just doesn't get any better than this. Crackers, Kit Kat, cheese, ham. It's so good. What we're going to do is we're going to take one cracker and then we're going to pile on a piece of ham, cheese, another piece of ham, and then another piece of cheese, and another cracker. This is the little sandwich that we've created and we're just going to take a bite. Mm-hmm. I love this. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. I will definitely be eating this off camera. I would easily give that an 8 out of 10. Obviously, I do like the bologna one better, but in terms of like the cracker cheese ham ratio, it is so good. And it also comes with a Kit Kat, which is the best one. I know one of the other ones, like the pizza pepperoni one, that one comes with an arrow, which is still good, but it's not the same as a Kit Kat, so I'm very jealous. Here we have the Kit Kat. It's just a little fun size, like snack size. 
Mm, I love this. I think that's like the perfect on-the-go snack or like a lunch if you're in a pinch. Obviously not very nutritious, but it has 13 grams of protein, which is pretty good. And the hot dog has 9 grams of protein, so could be worse. I think that one will be definitely the highlight of the whole thing, but we're just going to move on and we will do... This one I'm actually scared to do. This is the mini burgers. I don't know what about it, but if you just see in the corner here it looks i don't know but it comes with two burgers two mini buns two fully cooked mini beef burgers ketchup mustard with mini chocolate oatmeal cookies so these are the oatmeal cookies i wonder if it will have a smell oh that actually smells pretty good it smells like a burger like a normal burger and the buns are you kidding me this is the cutest thing i've ever seen okay i'm also just realizing i've had these lunch meats in the fridge for a few days now the fact that they're a bit harder is probably because one the fridge and then two it's been a few days so that probably is my bad i feel like it would be more fresh if you were to buy it and taste it very first day or the next day it comes with buns comes with the ketchup and mustard and then it comes with these little oatmeal cookies let's start off with this so it's an oatmeal cookie with chocolate coated on the bottom. That's actually really good. They kind of scam me though because how is this a whole oatmeal cookie? It's a half. And then I get one more. So they really just gave me two and a half. Anywho, for this one, I will be doing the mustard and the ketchup on the burger just because with my burgers, I do like toppings. We're just going to put some ketchup on the bottom. Oh. Now that we have our ketchup and mustard on the bottom, I'm just going to place the little burger on there. So this is what the burger looks like. Bit questionable, but they say fully cooked, so I'm going to go with it. And now here is our little burger. This is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Moment of truth, we're just going to bite and find out. I mean, honestly, it's not bad. I just don't love it. For 10 grams of protein, you will get full from this if you're a kid or you just want something on the go. I don't hate it. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. I feel like it's one of the more nutritious meals just because the oatmeal cookies, the burger, the bun. Your child will realistically get full off this. At least I would get pretty full for like an hour or so if I ate all of this. My favorite's definitely the oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. It tastes like the dad oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, but rather than having literal like chocolate chips throughout it, it's just the chocolate coated bottom, which is tasty. So the mini burgers, I have to say much better than I thought. I thought I would like the burgers less than the hot dogs, but I like the burgers more than the hot dogs. And then next up, we are down to our final two. I feel like I kind of want to do the nachos next, just because it sounds a bit tastier to me. Holy moly. That is so much. What the heck? Those are so many chips. So this is tortilla chips, cheddar cheese, and salsa with mini chocolate oatmeal cookies. So we have the same chocolate oatmeal cookies as before. I think the salsa's in here. Okay, so my question is, where do I put the salsa? Because, like, there's no dipping section for the salsa. I'm going to be putting it with the cheese, just because I like my chips plain, if not with, like, just the slightest bit of dip or whatever the heck. I'll just put it in, like, a corner. Let me just taste a chip without anything on it first. Very generic. Now I'm going to take some of the salsa with cheese. I got way too much cheese on that one, but it was good. I'm going to take a bit less this time. I don't know if it's the cheese or the salsa, but something is slightly throwing me off. I think it might be the salsa that's throwing me off. If you're an avid nacho lover, I would definitely recommend the nachos with cheddar cheese and salsa. I've never been much of a nacho gal, but I do appreciate the oatmeal cookies. I do like it overall. I would give it about like a 6.5 out of 10. I wouldn't get it again, but if it was in front of me, would I nibble on it? 100%. My question is just, would I buy this again for like 3 $4? Because they're kind of pricey. We're going to dive into the pizza pepperoni. So this is just pizza pepperoni one with arrow. So I am excited for that. Three pizza crusts, pepperoni slices, pizza sauce, heart skim, mozzarella cheese with an arrow bar. I'm excited. I think I will like this one. We have our pepperoni, our cheese, our pita, tomato sauce, and our arrow. I'm gonna put the arrow on the side. Oh my god, you guys, this is our last one. I need to get ready soon, actually. My friend, she is having her 25th birthday, big milestone birthday. She's having a casino-themed birthday party at her place tonight. I think it'll be very fun. We have to dress up, so I'm gonna be wearing a dress that I bought not that long ago. I'm just gonna put some tomato sauce on there. I really wish that this came with like a little spatula that way you could like spread it but instead I'm just gonna do it the ratchet way now I'm gonna put some cheese on there 
at least when I was growing up, you were like the cool kid if you had a Lunchable at lunch. And then these little pepperoni slices are the cutest. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna put two on here. Actually, you know what? I'll do three. So here we have our pizza. Let's just take a bite. It's okay. I don't want to go for another bite in all honesty. It doesn't really taste like a pizza. Like the effort's there, but it's just not it. Pepperoni has a little bit of like a little tang to it. Like it's good. Pita is just too tough. I think they should make it a little bit thinner and just a bit more soft. Overall, it was decent though. I would give that one a 6 out of 10. Would I buy that again? No. Would I nibble on it if it was in front of me? Potentially, probably not. So that's why I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. And last but not least, we have the Arrow. I love Arrow, so we'll just dive right on in. I think this is also a Canadian chocolate. Let me know down below if you guys are from the States. Do you guys have lunch mates? Or is it like a different brand name? Do you guys have this chocolate? I don't know. By far, my absolute favorite one was the ham one. Next, I would probably say the burgers. And then the nachos. And then probably the pizza and then the hot dog. The hot dogs, I was kind of really surprised that I didn't really like them, but at the same time, the color was just, it looked a little funky. Anywho, that about wraps up this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have tried lunch meats in the past or you still currently eat them, let me know down below. And also, if there are any other flavors that you guys have or you'd like me to try or just any food in general that you'd like me to try, I love doing these little taste tests. They're so much fun. And this was just a nice little trip back into my childhood. So I did really like that. I'm gonna go eat the rest of the ham, cheese, and cracker one, and then that will be the rest of my lunch. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications. That way you guys never miss any uploads, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. You looking for a girl that'll treat you right? Have you looking for in the daytime with a light? You might be the type if I play my cards right. I'll find out by the end of the night. You expect me to just let you hit it, but will you still respect me if you get it? All I can do is try, give me one chance.